Hello, I am Fluke. Today I will show you step by step Ivara solo extermination run, in case some of you wonder or have trouble how to exactly farm intrinsic sufficient. There is a shorter video which I've put before, but this one is more in depth and has full run as well. And like always I'll show the tricks along the way. Don't forget to like and subscribe and write a review that what else you want guide and tricks about. So without wasting any more precious time, let's get into it. Between other frames that have sleep abilities, I found Ivara to be easier to use. And you can use Noise Arrow to gather enemies before putting them to sleep, or lead them out of certain points. The build I use for Ivara as I explained before will have 6 second sleep duration, with flow and preparation mods. And for weapons, you can use either hammer or daggers. Both work great and since you're killing enemies while in finisher you don't need to maximize the weapons and having some damage will do the job. But since I recommended Zar Dagger, I've maximized it for this run. The Zar parts are, Balor's Strike, Lacquer as Grip. Zell Ink is optional depend how you want to balance the stats. But I will suggest Max Critical. Don't forget to bring Smi to Kavot for Affinity Bonus. One of 6 charm buffs is Double Pickup and Double Affinity, which will be useful for the farm. You can increase this buff chance by removing primary and secondary so you won't receive any instant reload buff. So if charm procs you will have 20% chance for double affinity. For the run use a railjack with a good crew, as defender, and engineer. Gunner can be also good for resource and parts gathering while inside missions. You can use, void cloak, and, quanta breach, to keep your railjack alive while doing the side objects. When you start extermination mission, the fight on railjack parts will be finished and your railjack won't get destroyed even if you have hall breach left. Now about the mission tricks. It's better to terminate corpus humanoids and corpus mowers since they have better chance of keeping the stealth kill affinity bonus chain. By humanoids I mean like corpus crewmans. You want to leave drones and spider as last enemies so either they will be removed from the map or if they are close to last rooms kill them as last targets for extra spawn, so you will benefit most out of stealth kill affinity bonus. For bugged mowers, drones and spider that only go to sleep for a second, I've noticed that putting them to sleep for the first time, letting them awake, and finishing them while they're in sleep for second time, will mostly keep the stealth kill affinity bonus. But I'll still suggest leaving them out to despawn if possible, since they sometimes will break your affinity chain even if you still do the previous mentioned trick. One more thing to mention, killing alerted enemies or getting damage will debuff stealth kill affinity bonus. So try not to get damaged. Abandoned Derelict After starting to kill few enemies, pay attention that more enemies will keep spawning. You want to finish them before continuing the mission for better affinity. So always keep an eye on the map for extra enemy spawns. Side Object Side objects will randomly be chosen after you get closer than 4500 meter to the main object. It has multiple different types, varying from boarding ships to defend terminals, or hack and kill interference drones, to just simply destroy some security nodes out in space. If the side object included boarding ships, clear the rooms. Better to finish drones as last targets. After terminal hack you can sometimes get stealth affinity from killing interference drones and special units as well. So keep that in mind. For terminal defense type, clear rooms then start the defense object to spawn more enemies. Extermination As you saw in the previous video, I will run till enemy humanoids put on alarms. After that you can hack via terminal to put enemies to unalarmed status. But there is a faster way to it as well. A viewer mentioned this one which I totally have forgotten about and I'm thankful for this. You can use air support charges to put enemies back to an unalerted mode. 
without needing to run around and wait for enemies to access terminal for alarms. This way you need air support charges to build for each run but honestly it's much more efficient this way, since it doesn't require much to even build 10 of them. After that get invisible, put enemies to sleep and start pre-forming finishes on them until the last room. Don't forget to avoid bugged mowers, drones and spiders till the last room. What I mean by first and last room as you can see in the picture, the first room is where you enter mission and last rooms are those close to extractions. For extra spawns we will kill enemies while rolling between the last two rooms. Extermination Extra Spawns, Endless Mode After finishing mission whatever you do, don't enter extraction room. Going there mostly stops extra enemies from spawning. But what can I do when enemies are there? Well you can use Ivara Noise Arrow to lure enemies out of there and finish them outside the extraction room. Good thing about extra spawns. To my experience they don't contain bugged mowers, drones and spiders, so you can keep getting stealth kill affinity bonus. You can do extra spawns endlessly most of the times. But I suggest extracting after 40 to 50 minutes and start a new run. I've went from 77770 intrinsics to 1010999 with this method and I got it pretty fast. So maybe they are some other problem with this. Let me know in the comments if anything was different. Well, this was more in-depth guide for solo extermination of our run, which I found most efficient compared to other methods. There is a full run video, which will be streamed tomorrow at Twitch, 2pm Eastern Time and the link will be available here. Please don't forget to like the video if you found it useful and subscribe since I will put more videos about other topics as well. Don't worry it won't all be about Railjacks. Tell in the comments what you want next guide to be about. Good luck.